Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is Brother Zahar. No saint left behind coming to you once again with another video. Pray that it be edifying. But this is something tragic right here, man. Um, first, I just want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwa Dash, double unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akims out there, the brothers that's out there that's um, doing this work. Stand faithful unto the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shah, and rehearsing these laws, statutes, commandments, commandments to the best of their ability. <clears throat> Shalom. Now this is a, a video of a, a Texas officer uh, shooting and killed a, a, a Israelite, a Hebrew woman, so-called Negro woman, um, and she was pregnant. Um, I mean, man, he shot her down like a dog, you know. She was already on the ground And he just put like six shots in her Maybe seven man After he done tased her I mean this is horrifying I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot this video And the bad thing about this man Is the reason why this is happening to us Because we sin against the most high And we ain't trying to come back man You know some people going to be mad But this is judgment on her You know because we got to come back to these laws, statutes, commandments, man. We got to call on Yahweh, the Father and His Son, named Yahweh Shai, man. We got to do what He asks for us to do, man. So we're going to, um, and don't forget, though, you know, the Most High said vengeance is His. So these Edomites, these so called white men, they're going to get what's due to them. They got to pay for everything they done done to us. But we still in slavery. Everybody think that we are free, man. We still in slavery. They still slaying us, man. They still killing us and putting us to death. But now the judgment is coming upon the women now. So you know that it's about to go down. I'm going to show you this video. We're going to read a couple of scriptures. And um, I pray that it be out of fire. Did y'all see that, man? That was tragic, man. She was, it's first of all, it's a woman. He done tased her. She's on the ground, and then he shoots her like six times. You know, and that's overkill. That's uncalled for. But, you know, the most high put judgment out on all of us, man. You know, he said he killed and he make a lie, man. So, we got to understand that. Matter of fact, we're going to get that scripture first, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back to this. We're going to get some scriptures. Let's, um, uh, matter of fact, let's go here. Uh, I think it's, it should be due to running me. 32, I believe. The room is 32 and 39. Uh, let's go here. Let's get these scriptures out. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And it reads, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power or God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, you know, even though the Most High used this Edomite, the so-called white man, to put this woman to death, that was her judgment. But he still got to pay for that. That so-called white man still got to pay for that. Because we're going to put them in captivity. We're going to put them in slavery. And we're going to do unto them as they had done unto us. So let's get these scriptures, man. Um, let's go to Zechariah. Let's go to Zechariah 11 and 5. And it reads, whose oppressors slay them. And our oppressors is the so-called white man. They have us in captivity. We're in slavery, man. They still rule over us. Whose oppressors slay them. And you just seen this woman get slayed by one of her oppressors, an Edomite, a red Hebrew Edomite, so-called white man. 
and hold themselves not guilty. You know he's going to get off. He's not going to get no death penalty. He's not going to get no 50, 60 years. You know, he might get a desk job or laid off with pay. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. So, you know, they get, I mean, even they even getting rich off of us. They putting us to death unjustly. They don't get held guilty. And they get rich off of us. And these pastors in these churches or these uh, uh, so-called Farrakhan's and T.D. Jakes, man, they ain't Al Sharpness and Jesse Jackson's. You know, they don't even pity our people, man. They ain't fighting for our people. They All these niggas are paid off. You know? So let's go to um, Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah... Uh, um, Jeremiah 50 and 7. Jeremiah 50 and 7. Let me see. And that reason says, All that found that found them have devoured them. And their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation, the habitations of justice. Even Yahweh, the hope of their fathers. So, Salaki, what they're saying right here that because we sinned against the Most High, they're allowed to do the things that they have done unto us, which they are correct. The Most High has allowed them to do that to us because we sinned against them, man. What is sin? Matter of fact, sin is the transgressions of the law. That's what sin is. If, if you... If you're not keeping these law, statute, commandments or rehearsing these law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, that's called sin. If you're eating pork, you in sin. Shrimp, lobster, crab leg, catfish, squirrel, rabbit, possum, raccoon. If you're eating any of these unclean beasts, man, you are in sin. Because the Bible says sin is the transgression of the law. And so what it is saying is that they're allowed to do what they do to us because we sin against the Most High. And they're actually right, because once we stop sinning against them and come back and call on his name, Yahweh, and his son, your name, Yahweh Shai, and begin to rehearse these laws, statutes, commandments, then the angels encamp around those that fear the Most High, and he protects us. He said when the enemy come in like a flood, he would raise up a standard against them. But we got to repent, come back to these laws, statutes, commandments, man. Let's read this again. All that found them have devoured them. We got to understand that all these nations had us in captivity. The Chinese, we built the Great Wall of China. I mean, the Japanese had us in slavery. The um, so-called Africans, the Hamites, you know, which are the Egyptians and the Canaanites. The Arabs had us in slavery. I mean, the, the Iranians, which is the East Indians, and the Pakistanians, which would be Persia, they had us in captivity. You know, these Babylonians, these Ethiopians, had us in captivity, you know? So, I mean, all these nations that had us in captivity, all 17 nations, and they're going to have to pay for it. But like this says, all that found them have devoured them. We just seen this man devour this woman. Let's go back to this video. So, as the word says, all that found them have devoured them. You see this woman just get devoured. And their adversary said, we offend not. Because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the hope of their, of their fathers. So, they're saying they don't even, the reason why they get held not guilty, as we just read in Zechariah 11, 5, is because the Most High is the, is the uh, habitation of justice. We don't get justice because we're not 
uh, following the Most High to the best of our ability. We're not rehearsing these laws, statutes, commandments. We're not calling on His name. And Christian and Islam ain't doing it. They still putting us to death. The name Jesus Christ is not helping you, cause that is not His name. Allah is not helping you. Buddha is not helping you. Being in the blood and a crip and a folk is not helping you. You got to call on the name Yahweh, the Father, His Son, named Yahweh Shah. That's where your help lies. But they got to pay for this, man. Let's go to um, Jeremiah uh, 2 and 3. And that says, Israel was holiness unto Yahweh. So we was holy unto the Most High. That means we were set apart. That means we were doing what he asked us to do. We used to rehearse these laws, statutes, commandments. But when we fell off, that's when he allowed the enemy to come in like an eagle. And devour us, curse into captivity, and do what they want to do to us. And the first fruits of his increase, all that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, said Yahweh. So everybody that devoured us, all these people that's done had us in captivity, and that have done us wrong, like these little red dot Indians in your neighborhood stores, these little Japanese and Chinese. And Arabs in your, in your neighborhood store, they got to pay for this captivity they putting us to. These Africans, these Hamites, that's bringing suffering upon us in these stores. All these different nations had us in captivity. But the Bible says, I'm going to read midway of this. It says, all that devour him shall offend. That means if you offend us, you offend the Most High Yahweh. It says, evil shall come upon them, said Yahweh. Let me, let me go down here to uh, verse 4. Listen to verse 4. It says, hear ye the word of Yahweh, O house of Jacob, or Israel, or you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and all the families of the house of Israel. So the Most High said, hear these words, man. He's going to bring vengeance upon them, man. So lucky. They got to pay for what they did. They got to pay for putting us in slavery. They got to pay for putting us to death. Look what they just did to this woman, man, this pregnant woman. They got to pay for that, man. Let's go to Psalms right quick. I think Psalms 37 and 2. Let me see what this say. 32. It says, the wicked watches the righteous and seek to slay him. You know, it says, the wicked watches the righteous and, and seek it. To slay him. Now, did you not see, did you not hear the woman say, you harassing me? I haven't done nothing to you. All right, now, when you go to the news clip about this thing, the, new, this, the, uh, the news said that, you know, this woman done had encounters with this officer already. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, let me see if I can find this. Like it. Let me see if I can find this news clip. Let me see if I can find it. Give me a second. Because they said that she had already had run-ins with this officer already. Let me see. And I don't know how to work this. Give me a second. Uh... Like I was trying to find it. I had it saved somewhere. But I don't know how to work this thing. Hold on, let's see. I think I... It should be somewhere. Here we go. Hey. Okay, now let's go to this video. And um, here go the video um, right here. This is the video about the um, woman. This is the news video. Tonight, family members gathered to grieve and demand answers after a Baytown police officer shot and killed their loved one while trying to arrest her. Some neighbors say the shooting was unjustified. Larry Seward in Baytown with what the family has to say. Larry? 
Lynn, first of all, Baytown police call this traumatic for all. They say their officer, though, only used his gun after the mother he tried arresting here tased him. What happened next, though, angers Pam Turner's stepdaughter. Ashanta Rubin found out on Facebook watching someone's live feed of her stepmom, Pamela Turner, being shot to death by a Baytown police officer. It's wrong. It could have went a different way. It could have been a better way to handle that situation. They ain't have to go down like that. Ruben told us Turner was a nurse at a hospital for years until her schizophrenia took over. She was mentally unstable. And officer knew that because they had been arrested her many a times. Last time she got arrested back here, they tased her. They tased her and then they took her to jail. Neighbors. So you see that? You heard that right now. Let's go back to the scriptures. Said the wicked watch, watch it, the righteous, and seek it to slay him. We are known as the righteous because we are the we are the children of the most high. We are his righteous children. You know, we are those angels on the right hand side. And then you got these other nations are which are on the left hand side, which are the children of of the left hand, which are the children of Satan, the wicked. But we are the righteous, man. And it says the wicked watch it, the righteous, and seek it to slay him. And that's what this woman just said. Listen to this. She was mentally unstable. And officer knew that because they had been arrested her many a times. Last time she got arrested back here, they tased her. They tased her and then they took her to jail. Neighbors often saw her walking their apartment complex parking lot, picking up trash, talking to herself. Hardly a stranger to Baytown police. It was See, they already knew all about this woman. They knew she wasn't a threat. They knew he knew he, she couldn't hurt him. So he got to pay for that, man. He got to pay for that. And the most high going to put him to... He's going into slavery anyway. Matter of fact, let's get into this thing. Let's go to Revelations. All these so-called white people, these red Hebrew Edomites, these devils, they all got to pay. Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That means if you have understanding, understand this. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All the people that led us into slavery, which was all these nations... The Chinese, the Japanese, the uh, Arabs, the Africans, you know, the uh, the uh, uh, um, the Hawaiians and uh, Australians and Filipinas. They all them led us into captivity, man. Right now, we're in the slave of the so-called white man, the Edomites. So all of them got to go into captivity, and they going once Yahweh Shah, who you eagerly call Jesus, return. All right, he says, verse ten: He that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. They're going to get put to death, man. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We should be patiently waiting on this with faith that it's going to happen. And it's going to happen. They're going into captivity and slavery for what they did. And they're going to get put to death for the way they put us to death. And I don't care if you don't like it. That's just what's going to happen. All right, let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah, they, hey, I'm showing you this now. Isaiah 14 and 21. And it reads, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. They kids. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't kill you. I didn't have no slaves. Uh, I didn't hang you. I didn't burn you. I didn't rape your four mothers or your four fathers. Oh, I didn't shoot this woman. All right, but you are the children and descendants of these people. That means you are these people. You just, you, did, you don't know that you're these people. But back in this reincarnation, in your past life, that's what you was doing. You were doing everything you was doing back then, you're doing now. If you ain't got no slaves now, you had us back then as slavery. The most high put nations into captivity, not just individuals, whole nations. I'm pretty sure Jeremiah was doing what most high asked him to do. You know, Daniel was doing what the most high asked him to do. Huh? Yeah, how was Shah did? Who he even called Jesus did exactly what he asked him to do, but he was born into Roman captivity. So the most I put nations into captivity. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers. <clears throat> so like you, for what their forefathers did, they gotta go into captivity and they gotta be put to death for it. 
that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So we, we got to make sure we put these Edomites in this captivity and put them to death so that they don't rise up and build wicked cities like their forefathers did. You know, Sin City, Las Vegas, Tel Aviv, homosexual city, St. Louis, homosexual city. I mean, not St. Louis, San Francisco, Atlanta, Georgia, homosexual cities. So they got to get put to death. Judgment is coming upon them too. Let's go to Revelation 13, I mean, uh, Isaiah 13, and maybe, let me see, 16? Yeah, Isaiah 13 and 16. Their children also, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. So we're gonna put their children to death like they did our children, like on the trail of tears. And when they grab our children, our babies by the ankles of their of their feet, smash the head on stones because they was crying and hungry and cold. Oh, this is coming back on them, man. Yeah, they got judgment that's coming real real soon. All right. Um. Let's go to Psalms. I'm gonna end with this one, man. Psalms uh, 94 and 23. <laughs> and it reads, And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Ye, Yahweh our power shall cut them off. So that's why the Most High said vengeance. Man, let's go. We got one more scripture. The Most High going to take care of this. Yahweh is going to take care of this through his son, Yahweh Shah. You know? And we're going to be partakers of it too once he returns to give us our spiritual powers. Romans 12 and 19. And just to show you that right here. And he says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. So we, our warfare is, our warfare, I mean, our warfare is not physical but spiritual. All right? Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said Jehovah. So the Most High has promised us that he's going to take care of these evil ass devils, so-called white, these red Hebrew Edomites, and all the other nations that came against us and had us in captivity. So I pray that you edify I'm going to say, bless the name of Yahweh and bless the name of Yahweh Shah. Barakatah Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom Israel.